Welcome to the third exercise. Today we are going to see how we can customize the formal status to add the information that we want. So well, let's get into it. In this case, we're going to build on top of the exercise that we did before. The first thing that we are going to do is to define the formal status method. And if you click here, you can see the implementation that is in the script strategy base. So as you can see, if it's not ready to trade, it's going to return market connectors are not ready. Then we have two lists, one for the information that we want to show and the other one for the warnings. If we have network warnings or balance warnings will be shown with that line. Because lastly, after all the information that we want, we are appending the warning lines here. So what information are we showing? We're showing the balances. This method is very handy to print a data frame and also we are showing the active orders. But now let's see what we can implement. Copy the formal status of the code and let's review it. So we're going to also use if it's ready to trade to return this string and then we want to get the mid price, the best ask, best bid on the last traded price by using the method get price by type that we reviewed before but instead of using the self that price type that we defined earlier we're going to use price type mid price best ask best bid and last trade then we are constructing this string that is an f string multi line that will show all the price that we queried before with two decimal points and then we are returning the string Remember that the output of this method is a string and in the implementation that is in the script strategy base, we are using lists to add multiple information, but then we are using join method of the strings to just construct one string and return that as an output. Well, we finished. Let's try this. Open the terminal, open the client and run start script quick start script two and status live. As you can see now, we have the mid price, the last traded price, the best ask and the best bid. Now you know how to code a custom formal status.